With the release of El Camino, Breaking Bad joins the long list of television series that have made the jump to feature films. However, unlike most shows that have attempted this leap, Breaking Bad has genuine cinematic storytelling in its DNA. In fact, one wonders if the phrase, it's like a movie every week, was coined just for this series. Breaking Bad was far from the first series to incorporate a more visually dynamic style of storytelling. In fact, since the mid-80s, TV has continually been trying to more closely resemble film. Shows such as Twin Peaks, The Sopranos, and Lost were all important steps in pushing the medium forward. Breaking Bad, however, took that progress and completely redefined what a television show can look like and feel like. And while it might not have the same epic scale battles of Game of Thrones, what makes Breaking Bad so cinematic is how thoroughly it understands the grammar of visual storytelling. Over the course of its five seasons, Vince Gilligan and his team helped to find a visual boldness on television that we now almost take for granted. In fact, the more you watch the series, the more you begin to realize that Breaking Bad has little interest in looking like a TV show at all. From its impressionistic, high-contrast lighting style to its Sergio Leone-inspired use of landscapes and reliance on negative space, the series is indebted to the language of film. Just take a look at this trunk shot from the episode Live Free or Die and compare that to the trunk shot from Pulp Fiction. Or compare the surreal moment of Jesse floating from the episode Mandala with Spike Lee's trademark double dolly shot here seen in the film Black Klansman. If you're trying to define what sets Breaking Bad apart from other shows, then look no further than the series cinematography. Unlike most shows, Breaking Bad was shot on 35mm film, as opposed to the digital cinematography that dominates the film and television worlds today. This commitment to shooting on film, coupled with the series' very subjective compositions, creates a handmade and cinematic look that's simultaneously larger than life and emotionally very primal. This helps imbue even the most intimate of scenes with visual weight and importance. Helping to further distinguish itself from other shows, Breaking Bad is methodical in its use of cinematic techniques such as motivated camera movement and color theory. Rather than shooting every dialogue scene with the same flat, workman-like camera coverage that had traditionally dominated television, Breaking Bad employs long, voyeuristic zoom shots that subtly work to ramp up the tension. Coupled with the series' penchant for Kubrickian symmetrical framing, this goes a long way in making the viewer feel more enraptured and tense during something as seemingly innocuous as a simple dialogue scene. And don't even get us started on the use of color that subtly underlines Walt's continued descent. It's genius. While shows such as True Detective, Westworld, and Twin Peaks The Return have certainly continued the trend of cinematic television, Breaking Bad still stands tall above them as a watershed moment in the evolution of the medium. As for El Camino, it's simply putting the pedal to the metal. <laughs>